Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how easy it is to import orders taken on an iPhone or an iPad using the Handshake application into Sage 50. For those of you who are not familiar with Handshake, uh, Handshake is uh, one of the uh, uh, easiest applications on the iPhone or on the iPad uh, which allows you to take orders both online and offline. Excel to Sage is a uh, very user-friendly import utility which allows you to import things into Sage very easily. Uh, so it's ideal for integrating things like EPOS, web shops, billing systems. In this case we're going to look at orders taken on an iPhone or an iPad but also it uh, has the ability to import orders from EDI orders. It has the ability to have data coming in from a SQL database. It even has the ability to take data from a PDF document and import that into Sage. Um, Excel to Sage also caters for a whole load of other imports uh, to do with the customer cycle and supplier cycle like purchase orders and, uh, and, and purchase invoices as well as uh, bank and uh, project transactions. So in this presentation, what we're going to do is we're going to go and find uh, an existing order on the iPad. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, copy it, replicate it and uh, use Handshake to uh, uh, take the order and then synchronize it to the head office. It's uh, excellent for doing uh, things like capturing signatures when you're sitting there with a the customer as well as taking pictures. And it's ideal for companies that might be carrying out van sales or taking orders at exhibitions or who have salesmen uh, who make account visits uh, and uh, need to have information at their fingertips and be able to take orders quickly. We've also worked with the developers in the US and uh, there's now seamless imports from Handshake into Sage 50 using Excel to Sage and it's available for the other flavors of Sage as well like Sage 200, Sage 500 and Sage 1000. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, application in action. So that's Handshake. This is the home um, screen for it. So what you can do is you can look at the customers and you can have credit customers and cash customers and you can categorize these any way you want. And these are just the standard Sage 50 uh, data, demo data. And that's what it looks like on an iPad. This is what it looks like on a iPhone. So those are the customers. These are the products with categories. So if I go over here and have a look at the products, there we go, exactly the same thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and find uh, uh, a customer. Let's take uh, A1 Design. And these are the details of A1 Design and they had an order called 4149. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna replicate that quickly. And having replicated it, what we're going to do is we're going to make a few changes. So in terms of the shopping cart, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to edit that. And in fact, they had three of those before. We're going to have two of those this time. Uh, in terms of the calculator, they love those. That's three of those. And in fact, what they're going to do is they're going to take five of those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them an extra 10% discount because of that. So they're going to have 20% discount on that. So the discount's been set 20%. And in terms of the notepads, they had three of those last time. They're only going to have two of those. That's brilliant. So uh, I can put some notes on here to say, please deliver it as soon as possible. And I can take some further actions like uh, taking the capture, the signature. There you go. Aura. Uh, so that's the purchase order in effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to email that straight to the customer. And there we are. There's the order details going straight into uh, there, including the signature. So I'll just send that off. And off it goes. And what I'll do is now I'll uh, finish editing that. And uh, having done that, order 4154 has been done. And what I can do is it's now automatically synced it and it's told me the sync is uh, done. So what we need to do now is have a look at two things. The first thing is have a look at the email that the customer would get. So this is the uh, uh, order arriving, 4149. Let's have a quick, uh, let's just refresh that a second, give that a second to come. There you go, 4154. And that's what the order looks like uh, with names, addresses. He's got two of those, two of those, and four of those. Total 88480. So let's go and import that into Sage now. So let's go in here. And what we'll do is we'll swap over to the website. 
uh, which currently has only got the orders up to 41.49 here. So I'll just quickly refresh that uh, to see if there are any further orders. And yes, we've got 41.54 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all of these orders instead of just one of them. In reality, what you would do is you'd import daily orders. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an export, and that's a specific export for Excel to Sage, uh, which we've developed with the developers of uh, Handshake to give seamless import facilities from Handshake into Sage 50. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, do that again because of the Internet Explorer security. There you go. So I'll just open that up and it'll go and uh, open it up in the format that I want it. And there it is. These are all the orders that we've got. And uh, let's have a look from line two to line 79. So we've got about 77 orders. And uh, uh, what we've got is we've got details of the, uh, uh, the, the, the products and, uh, and, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that lot and copy it and put it into the uh, Excel to Sage format. And just paste it there. Okay, and just save that. Brilliant, that's done. So now what I need to do is go into Sage 50 and uh, I've got some uh, data in here already. So let's uh, delete those first. So we've got a nice clear run. And uh, you can see up here I've got too many items already. I've got Excel to Sage, but I've also got the bigger brother of SQL to Sage uh, in case I need to import stuff from a SQL database for other applications. So the first thing I'll do is I'll uh, check the log file and make sure that's clear. So I'll start a new one and go into the single company and just connect to Sage. And what it will do at the bottom is it will go and connect to the Handshake demo company, which is what we're in at the moment. And all I need to do now is these imports are now available to me. I'll just click on sales orders and off it goes. And it starts importing the sales orders from the Excel spreadsheet. Um, so it will be checking the customer codes, the product codes, uh, and uh, populating the uh, Sage sales order table uh, with all those multi-line orders that uh, we just imported from uh, Handshake. Having done that, uh, we'll then uh, have the ability to just process them in Sage 50 as you would do normally in terms of allocating stock to them and doing the pick list and so on. And that's it. It's now finished it. So I'll just go into Sage, uh, refresh the screen and uh, uh, see all of the orders that have come through. And here are the handshake references for them. And uh, it was uh, 841.54, which is the one that we just did. And if I just double click on that, there we go. There's the whiteboard, the ledger book and the calculators. It's literally as easy as that. Um, so uh, that will save an awful lot of time and uh, effort and uh, uh, eradicate uh, errors by rekeying things in. So, in summary, it's very quick and cost effective. The entire system is uh, web based, so you can then just uh, go on there and uh, um, uh, register for it and start using it on your iPhones and your iPads. Uh, you can download the Excel to Sage application onto your PC with Sage 50 on it and just get cracking. It's very quick to set up and we help with remote setup uh, if need be. Uh, it only takes a few minutes. Uh, one of the biggest power is that it can uh, work offline. So you don't need to have 3G connectivity or a Wi-Fi connectivity and then you can then just synchronize things when you get into coverage. Uh, it's excellent for improving your corporate image um, and making the salespeople a lot more efficient uh, because it doesn't it means they don't have to take pen and paper around with them and take paper orders anymore. And uh, you could even roll it out to your major customers so that they can use their own iPhones and iPads to uh, to place orders directly uh, with you. And uh, you can then just uh, automatically uh, import them. Thank you for your time and interest in Excel to Sage and uh, the import of Handshake iPad and iPhone sales orders. My name is Aura Martirosian and uh, please feel free to email me on aura at exceltosage.co.uk and uh, with uh, any requirements that you may have or any questions you might have and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.